Popular solar eclipse stretches from Oregon to Texas with prime spots falling in parts of the four corners. You've got Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico. Travel journalist Jennifer Broom joining us this morning with more on the best places for viewing the Ring of Fire. Jennifer, good morning. We want to start in the four corners quadrant. I think it would be so cool to have your family standing in a different state oh, yeah. watching the eclipse <laughs> at the same time. You and thousands and thousands of other folks that are going to be at the Four Corners National Monument doing exactly that. So, guys, I am actually in the southwest corner of Colorado. I'm in Colorado's quadrant of the Four Corners. I'm in the tiny town of Mancus and Cortez in this area. This is where you come for Mesa Verde National Park. That's where I'm going to be tomorrow morning. It is the first national park that was dedicated to the works of man. It is home to the largest cliff dwelling in North America with a stunningly beautiful cliff palace. It's just absolutely gorgeous. This area is called the Land of Ancients because you also have Canyons of the Ancients National Monument. There are over 6,000 known archaeological sites. It is home to the highest density of archaeological sites in the United States. You also have the Yucca House. And then right on the Colorado Utah line, you have Hovenweep, which is just stunningly beautiful with the ancient ruins. So if you're like me and want to stand with the ancients during the annual solar eclipse this is one of the spots to be sweet we love the history the geology all that combined mm. and of course jennifer over in utah bryce canyon and over 10,000 visitors for the 2012 annular solar eclipse and it's expecting massive crowds there so where's somewhere in utah that may be a bit less crowded you think Okay, so I'm going to bring you a little bit closer to Moab, which, by the way, arches and island in the sky of Canyonlands are not in the path of totality. But about 40 miles south, the Needles District of Canyonlands, it is. It is gorgeous. It's not going to be as crowded. There is a wonderful hike there that you can do. It's Cave Springs. That is a fabulous one. It's That one's family friendly. You even get to climb up ladders to get the 360-degree the panoramic views. Another spot, which happens to be my favorite of the big five national parks in Utah, that is Capitol Reef National Park. It is this unique combination. It's like Bryce and Arches kind of combined into one. It has the waterfall pocket, which is basically a wrinkle in the earth. It is 100 miles, so it provides these stunning sceneries and rock formations. And when you're there, guys, don't miss out on the pie at the Gifford House. I know, go to a national park for pie, but trust me, when you have it, you understand. <laughs> That's the secret. You got to get it after you've gone and done your hike. And we just looked at the map of where annularity will be. So the Grand Canyon, not necessarily in the path, but there are sections of northern Arizona that are, right? There certainly are, and the place I want to take you next is in northern Arizona, and it's Canyon de Chalet National Monument. This is in Navajo Nation. It is a stunning canyon with 700-foot sheer cliff walls. To go into the canyon, you do need to go on either permitted or on a guided tour, but you can drive the rim and just get these incredible views. It is certainly a gorgeous spot, and it is one that's lesser known. Awesome ideas there, Jennifer. Love it. We can all look forward to the springtime in April when we get that total solar eclipse. Oh, that's right around the corner. All right. In the meantime, we're going to send it yeah. on over to no Reynolds. Problem. See you, Jennifer. Have a great we weekend. appreciate Bye. it. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Over to you, Reynolds.